Welcome. This video is going to be a super quick one where I show you how I create the beautiful surface LIC animations like the ones you see here in Paraview. I recommend trying to follow along with this video using a case you have already ran a simulation for. I really like these surface LIC plots because along with finding them beautiful, I think they do a really good job of subtly adding information that helps people see the flow behavior. I find that people untrained in CFD often have trouble seeing a velocity or a pressure plot and intuiting the direction of the flow. A surface LIC can really help to clearly establish a concrete image in the mind for those who you are presenting to, which in the end is the entire purpose of plots. I hope you like this video. If you find it useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As always, please leave any questions or suggestions for future content in the comments section down below. Alright, so you should have some results loaded in Paraview. In this case, I have the results from the Pitts Daily tutorial using the Row Simple Foam Solver and an LES Turbulence model. So click on your loaded results and press Control Space to open up the Filters menu. Then just type in the Gradients of Unstructured Dataset and press Enter. We are going to select Velocity for our Scalar Array and then just check the box next to each quantity you want to compute. I'm just going to select them all for the purposes of demonstration. I'm just going to load the last time step. And now you can see that we have these extra plotting options. Let's quickly select one and change this to a surface LIC plot. A lot of times I have trouble plotting a surface LIC on the original results. To remedy this, I usually just take a slice through the domain and plot surface LIC on that. Let me just plot the Q criterion, and I usually need to adjust the range. I find that it is best to keep it centered at zero and select one of the split color maps as I am doing here. Here I'm just looking at a couple other values before going into the surface LIC options to create the final animation. So I'm just going to show you the settings I typically use. I arrive to these values through experimentation mostly. I really recommend just going through each option and seeing how it affects your plots. Then just select what you think looks best and presents your results most clearly. One important note is that as you're experimenting with the different parameters, you should check out a few different time steps. Sometimes the surface LIC can have weird results in the final animation if you don't check across multiple time steps. For a velocity field plot, I typically like to use a diverging color map like the Inferno one, but this is up to you based on your preferences and or requirements. And it really is that simple. You can now create an animation just like with any other plot. I hope this video helped. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave any questions or suggestions in the comments section down below. I read all of them and will try to answer any questions you may have. Thanks for watching and have a good one.